Hello everyone, Sherlock Phantom One here, and welcome to another year of Spooky List Week. And for the first video of this year's spooky lineup, I thought we'd talk about one of my favorite and somewhat underrated Final Destination movie, the third installment to be more specific. Now for those unfamiliar with the baseline story of Final Destination movies, let's recap that now. Basically, Final Destination started off with a guy named Alec, who had a scary realistic vision of a tragic event happening to him and his friends when they go on a class trip to Paris. However, the vision turns out to be only the beginning when as the foreseen events Alex saw happen. And just as the characters assume they're safe from harm, death starts coming after each of them in different ways, following the original order in which each of them would have died in the vision. And that's basically the whole franchise, with one person having the same thing happen, but in a different setting and with different characters. So why may you ask, are we starting with the third installment instead of the beginning? Well, in my opinion, the third movie is always the best. I mean, just ask Thor in the Jurassic Park franchise. No, but in all seriousness, I am here today with this video to bring some attention to this somewhat underrated movie. So sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy. Some things I feel Final Destination 3 does well is making you care about some of, if not most, of the characters without having so much build up and character development needed, as well as not making them so unlikable you can't stand to see them on screen. Now, granted, these aren't characters you are probably going to identify with or cry over, still, they're not so annoying you hate them, and they're not so fleshed out that you know everything about them. They're just ordinary characters. Another thing I find I appreciate in this film was that after the death of Wendy's boyfriend, the movie doesn't try to push that annoying trope of the two unlikely friends falling in love which could have been a really weird angle for this movie. Now, having said my pros for the film, now we must cover the annoying cons. I don't know that I love Wendy as a main character per se. She kind of gives off this annoying vibe of being overly controlling, and I get that's her given character trait. However, something that bothers me about it is everyone throughout the movie is aware of her being overly cautious already. But then I feel like the movie tries to give off this idea that Wendy is losing her sense of reality and becoming obsessive over her fears, and the people think she's getting crazier and crazier. But right from the start of the movie we see Wendy being and acting overly cautious. So what's the difference between her then and her now? I don't know, I guess I just don't see much of a character change. Another thing that bothers me though is Jason is kind of the worst boyfriend in some senses. You see, when Wendy is panicking and feeling scared of the roller coaster, Jason calmly explains everything will be fine. However, what bothers me is he knows she's not comfortable and yet Jason and Wendy's friends keep kind of pushing her to go forward anyway. Not to mention, when they get in line and get assigned the front row, Wendy panics even more. And as a solution, Kevin and Jason flip a coin in order to see who will be stuck with Wendy in the back row. Like, what? Jason, that's your girlfriend. You can't even step up and go sit with her, especially knowing she's freaked out. Also, this isn't really a problem I have with the movie. I just think it's funny. When you think about it, Wendy is actually a pretty crappy photographer. I mean, look at these pictures. She works in the yearbook. Like, girl, learn how to line up your shots. But all in all, I really enjoyed this movie. And I guess it's not everyone's cup of tea, but I really enjoyed it and would highly recommend. But if gore is not your thing, then maybe skip this one. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone, and stay awesome. Bye, guys. There is someone walking behind you.